Have you ever heard of the golf ball called Cut? Maybe? I have not. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, man. Do another ball review. Ball mm -hmm. review day, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of them rolling in, so let's check you, them out. Do me a favor. Uh, on both of the channels, whether it's 1611 channel or the Performance Golf, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe for us real quick. We do all kinds of different reviews, some golf challenges, um, course tours, pretty much exclusively on the TrackMan 4 system. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, check us out and, and hit the little notification bell thingy too so you know when we post. We yeah. typically do at least three videos a week, sometimes more, Christmas week. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll get a lot more. Uh, and then some instruction stuff too. So also social media and all that good stuff. But. Today we are doing another ball review for the Cut Blue. Now, mm -hmm. Cut's a brand, Blue's the model. Blue's the, the model of it. Mm -hmm. And I know very little about this golf ball. I didn't know it existed until you said, hey. I've heard of the brand, but I don't know anything. Well, I know some stuff now, but <laughs> leading up to Research. this. Yeah, leading up to this, um, I just knew of the brand, but not any claims or what the golf ball's supposed to do or any of that kind of stuff. Just right. knowing that it's, again, kind of like the Snell that we did, like the, uh, preview to the uh, vice that we're going to do one of those direct to consumer golf balls mm -hmm. that yeah just cuts the middleman out right. and which technically i am a middleman cuts me out of the deal also and saves reviews. you some money if it's decent enough to save you money yes because i think that if it's worth it there's always that line for golfers of i mean where does this claim to be mm -hmm. and what does it cost and how does it hold up so uh, i will say that the box is simple Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't bother me, but they went a little heavy on the phrasing everywhere. I mean, normally you just have a couple of logos and then you got your little info thing on the back that lots explains of, the golf ball. Lots of words. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to throw it out there because they're, they're, it's like a hype box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I have a hype man in boxing, hype yeah. box for golf ball. Well, and, and I think too, again, I don't know this just, but just looking on their website, you can get a dozen or you can get like a trial sleeve. Okay. And so I think if I were guessing they do this so that they throw all their stuff that would be on the outside of the dozen box because gotcha. they sell it. And I imagine every box looks like that. So sure. they can either put it in a dozen so or- So some of the stuff that is on the box, it says this ball goes far and feels crazy good. One sleeve of tour quality golf balls at an affordable price. And they highlight tour quality and affordable. So they're pretty much calling out Snell and Vice and yeah. those types. And the only other spot it says, it says finally a golf ball for the people. And it's got their website on it. Oh, yeah. It's an American ball. Yeah. Made by the people I mean, for It is people. red, white, and blue. I will say it's not quite the right blue. Yeah, Come on, Snell. Now. Or Snell. Cut. Whoever you are. Um, cool. You ready to hit some? Yeah. Let's check it out. So, so giving you some info on it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> yeah. So info on it. Um, it is a four-piece golf ball. And then we're also comparing it to, like on the other one, we're comparing it to that Shrixon. It's a dual core. So that's a four-piece golf ball as well. Um, here's, um, one of our first discrepancies <laughs> in this is whenever you look at their website, they go high. it well. says they've got these, um, you know, kind of little markers that are showing you different things that it does more consistent, lower long game spin. Not a big fan of that terminology. <laughs> um, high flight on all shots. So that's the one that I want to key in on here because it says that. And then whenever you scroll down to the Cut Blue, the 2018-19 Golf Digest Hot List, Cut Blue was now. designed uh -huh, for optimal distance, woods, irons, and then it says lower ball flight and improved greenside control. So. So the only thing is, you think they're talking about cut golf balls as a whole here and then potentially blue. So you're actually on the site that is yeah. for this specific golf ball. Yes. It's not just the website and then you click to another page. This no, is all on the same site. Whenever you click cut blue, it has like your different thumbnails that you can select through and it's got a picture of the outside of the box and the front and the back of yeah, the ball yeah, yeah. and the sleeve. And then it has these six circles that are kind of like uh, symbols that are like a spin symbol and right. a straight symbol. And then it says high flight on all shots. But then this golf ball in particular, it says low ball flight. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of confusing in there. Right, and, and how they said things. It's not typical golf vernacular. Yeah, and again. Big word. Yeah, that was a SAT <laughs> vocabulary there. And again, maybe they are looking at, hey, um, the golf crowd and the non-golf crowd, maybe that does make more sense in there to simplify it a little bit. I'll say know. with this kind of a golf ball though, for us, we're sitting here trying to review it. And again, with these direct to consumer type golf balls, my big thing is always, do what you say you're gonna do. 
Correct. More so than if one outperforms something else. Mm -hmm. So the issue that starts to run into there is obviously you're saying two different things. Which one yes. do we actually which use? One are we, which one are we looking for? So high or low, they win. <laughs> yeah. That's but a, they're also, oopsie. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, pretty Shout good out to there. the snowball. We just did a review on that I just kicked. <laughs> Check that one out. So um, comparing it to the Shrixon, yep. um, both of them have the metallic dots. We've gotten some people saying yeah. things. So as Aaron starts to hit some shots, uh, we do have club speed up on the screen, which is our standard. That's how we kind of measure if we're being consistent enough to review this correctly. Um, ball speed, which now comes into the golf ball spin rate. I added landing angle because I was a little curious about that because I do feel like a landing angle, depending on the club you're hitting, that's important. And then your carry and your total. As always, take total distance with a grain of salt. We're really going to focus on carry because um, just like every other launch monitor on the planet, when you're hitting it indoors, it is using an algorithm to determine your total. I guess technically it's using an algorithm to determine your, a lot of that stuff indoors, but eh. but it, it doesn't, you, the, there's more variable with that total because of you don't really know what the ground's like. Yep. It's taking a guess. So I know we just talked about this in the last video, which for us was moments ago. <laughs> yeah. But how does that Strixon feel just as a comparison? It's a good golf ball. Um, it feels, you know, like a pretty, like a four piece golf ball, I guess you could say. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a probably, solid golf ball. Probably most, premium. probably most similar if you haven't played a Strixon to the TaylorMade TP5. Yeah. Um, it compresses similarly, even though TP5 is obviously a five piece golf ball. It's a little unique in that in its own way. Uh, more accurate this time. Yeah, if I can keep my hands from flipping through it, we'll be doing a lot better. Mm. So now we're gonna throw that cut blue. So before you hit a golf ball, mm -hmm. I think it's important we talk about what, like when you pick this ball up, what are your first thoughts? Um, so it, <laughs> I don't like the way it looks. It's no. very shiny, kind of the plastic. Finish. The finish on it is very shiny and kind of plastic looking. It is, it says it's a urethane cover, so I'm assuming that it is. Sounds a little firm. Um, it does, even feeling it, you know, when you hold a Pro-V, the urethane feels like it gives a little bit, like yeah. when you kind of put your, your fingernail into it, it kind of gives just a little bit. Mm -hmm. This does not, <laughs> this it feels more feel like that. a Velocity or um, a Tour Soft, those types of things. It feels honestly more like a two-piece ball than a four-piece. Yeah, so cover may be a little, I mean, possibly just, just from the look of it. And again, I've But maybe it feels that way, it. and that's a durability thing that's they're talking yeah. about. So, but again, when you look at it, it doesn't feel premium. I think that's the biggest point. Yes, it doesn't. It feels, what does this ball retail for? Did you say it earlier? Uh, um, yes, I had it on there. You're it's about quote, what? Just take a guess. Quote me on it. I think it's like $20. So, oh, you're right. It's $19.99. Yep. So right? it feels like if you went- If you went into- a golf shop, mm -hmm. your local clubhouse, and you picked out a $20 golf ball and a $50 dozen golf ball, and this is per dozen, Yeah. and you felt them, you know what I'm talking about, that difference? This feels like a $20 golf ball. It does not feel like a premium golf ball. So the claim of tour quality is already in massive question. Yeah. <laughs> in jeopardy. Hit that little thing. A little skinny, skinny. A little skinny. Felt like a skinny shot. Sure. All right, let's see if I can hit one solid. <laughs> Does help. There you Ooh, go. better. The reason why Aaron's doing this and not Ryan, Ryan had an absolutely abysmal practice session yesterday mm -hmm. where he almost broke both drivers in his bag. That's right, I said both. <laughs> Always searching. Problem is I've been searching a little Ooh. longer than normal. This Yank! on this one, so it's a little frustrating. In words of where you're landing that golf ball, that would have been a good shot yesterday with my driver. <laughs> if you see all the cacti around and that one building off to the right, they were in jeopardy yesterday. Yeah, not even ask. I changed our driving range like a week or two ago. I just got tired of looking at the same mountain view, which is yeah. kind of ironically, we're still looking at mountains, but. <laughs> threw the desert on. But yeah, we threw the desert on, which is kind of, you can actually go to St. Andrews 18 number, or 18 number one, the first, the 18th tee box at the old course, or mm -hmm. what was the other one? Uh, PGA National. Gotcha, so they're a little different because that's an actual hole. I think if you're working on driving, that's a cool feature. Yeah. If you're not, then I think this is just better because you get a little bit. 
All right, so I know you skated the first one. You've kind of gotten a little bit of a groove yeah. now. A little left, a little right. Consistency, do you feel like, before, we'll talk about this later on, but do you feel like the consistency is you or it? Um, I, mean, I think a little bit of both. Okay. But. I just want to be clear. I mean, I'll if, say. If you feel like you're yanking it pretty hard and maybe the swings weren't as quality versus the other one, I just want to be open and clear about that. Yeah, they were, I mean, I think the swings are pretty much the same. Um, it does feel harder. Does it? Yeah. If they, you had to make an analogy to another golf ball, just so that people um, can come. Maybe like, a, well, like I know the Bridgestones pretty well. So mm -hmm. maybe like the Bridgestone, like an E12 speed or something like that. Sure. That's that's kind of what it what it feels like on that. Gotcha. Um, and then, I mean, you'll have the charts to compare. Oh, yeah. Spin Long rate. I just realized it. Spin rate is, I think. That part over. All right, so now we're gonna look at some stats. If you notice up there, we did kick one shot out, number 29 under the cut. That Aaron got a little Yankee doodle we're dandy gonna, on that bad boy. We ain't gonna worry about that little guy. <laughs> but with that being said, uh, you know, if you look at your club head speed, just to get our, you know, plus or minus, see how close we are. I mean, damn it, Aaron, 87.5 versus 87.9. You gotta, you gotta speed up that other one I or wish, slow that other one down. Just I wish I could get it the same. <laughs> if so it was only closer. We're gonna call that pretty freaking the same. Um, but ball speed, so again, you're less than point, what was it, 0.4 miles per hour difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, your ball speed was faster with the Strixon by about a mile, a little over a mile per hour. No, a little less, I mean. Yeah. It, which, negotiable, negatable, however you want to say it. The big, I mean, the big takeaway right here yep. is spin. Mm -hmm. So the cut is spinning a lot less. Um, land angle's not a, a big change, it's coming in. So I will say the spin real fast, that is a typical of a harder, more two-piece harder golf ball. Harder golf ball. It's just not gonna spin as much because that yeah. urethane cover that's softer on Pro-V, TaylorMade, the, the mm -hmm. higher end stuff is going to spin more because it's gonna grab more. So you're, you're sitting here looking at it, 5,700 to 6,200. Mm -hmm. um, then where you look at where this stuff relates at, I know we said not to pay a whole lot of attention to total distance, but in this case, because everything's comparable. Um, we're looking at, you know, the ball carried a couple yards further and then it rolled out a few more yards sure. further. So I'm getting a little bit more rollout after it, being that it's lower spin. Right. Again, I'm hitting a seven iron. What does that look like if I'm say. trying to hit a, a five iron or a four iron into a green? Is that ball gonna hit and take a 15 foot jump right off the bat? Right. Or is it gonna hit and kind of hop and dribble? And that's the difference in how you play a hole. Not that there's anything wrong with either way. Mm -hmm. It's just, but if you don't know how what do you're know trying that? to do, right, yeah, if you don't know what you're trying to do hitting into the shot, then obviously if you're planning on carrying it back there or you don't have a tight, maybe it's a tucked pin behind a bunker situation and then a drop off in the back, yeah, you don't want roll out. <laughs> yeah. Because if you clear the bunker, it's gonna go off the back. If you hit it early enough up, you're gonna have to go play the right or the right. So, um, one slightly interesting stat that I'm gonna give cut a little bit of props on is if you look at your spin rate consistency mm -hmm. um it was the cut was plus or minus 20. 20. i don't know that i've ever seen a double digit consistency on spin rate on spin rate i don't so to be I honest with you strixon was plus or minus 270. Mm -hmm. that's amazingly good <laughs> like 270 is consistent yeah, for a you're spin staying, rate. you're staying under three four hundred under five hundred i mean that's right that's pretty good again we're talking about consistency over the course of about five or six shots uh, I'll say that I I don't think I've I've seen twenty up there. I don't know that I have either, and so I'm I'm I will give cut that the props where they deserve it. I do think the golf ball is lacking in a lot of places. Yeah, I think um, it depends on who it's for too. Exactly. So I mean, what are we sitting here looking at? Am I somebody who needs to spin the golf ball? If so, I probably sure. would not go with that. I was about to say. So if, if I'm somebody who's needing that, who's looking for maybe distance and rollout, and I maybe I do. <laughs> have to hit hybrids and stuff into par mm -hmm. fours. I mean, sure. awesome, I think you can do it. Go yeah, real quick it. before we, and you can kind of see that consistency there on that mm -hmm. chart we were just talking about. I mean, obviously that Strixon, and these are both fairly tight patterns. Bad. Yeah, the Strixon's a little wide, but eh. it's tight-ish. Yeah, yeah, it's... <laughs> I mean, that's could, really not that big of be a deal, because it's, it's like, what, it's five yards to that first line, and then 15, 15 to the over left. there, something like five to 10, right. 12 yards, something like that, which... So, you know, whatever, guys. I just I'm always not... like to see the visual of yeah. of this. It kind of gives you an idea. Obviously, the cut was a little bit more consistent, but we also talked about that. If we did leave that one yank shot in there, which again, we 
we took the shots out, and we typically take the shots out that we feel it is was, more us than the ball. Wild, yeah, that was wildly, wildly different. I mean, whenever you get, sure. like the big thing spin that stood out was, was, yeah, the spin and the ball speed. Like I'm staying around whatever it was, 117, 18, sure. something like that, and that one was like 109. Like, right. All right, so, we need to kick that out. But like you were just saying, who is this ball meant for? I, I, think, I think it's meant for the higher handicapper that's looking for yeah. some distance and lower spin. But then, so, are they claiming that this is a tour quality golf ball? That's that's the big claim. So to me, that is now you're you're taking on Pro V, you're taking on Z Star, you're taking on TP Five, the Tour Series X, from yeah. Bridgestone. Yep, I don't. From that claim, this golf ball, no. the blue, I don't think so. Now I know I think they do have. Um, obviously, they have other models. We don't have the other model, right. so. I can speak nothing to the other models. But, but from this, our research, this is their tour version. This is the one that they have. So the me. fact that they're marketing this as that, to take on the Snell MX, what is it? M uh, MTB Black. MTB Black, uh, I would say the Vice. Really, that's probably who they're targeting more so than Pro V1. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, the Vice Pro, uh, Pro Pro Plus. Those are probably the golf balls that they're targeting. It doesn't hold up to those at yeah. all, from, yeah. that, from what those are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Now, the question becomes is, so let's say it is for that higher handicap or somebody that doesn't want to spend that much on a golf ball, you know, what, is a, what does a pack of Velocities cost right now? Uh, I, I don't know, more than $20. Right, I think they're about 30-ish, give or take. Mm -hmm. um, you start talking about those more distance No, if you're talking and, about, I'll, you know, here we go, we'll start talking about those distance balls in price, like for a $20 a dozen sure. golf ball. It feels better than most of them. That's a pretty good golf ball. It doesn't feel like a top flight or a pinnacle or something. <laughs> We'll call them little rocks. Yeah. It's a one piece ball. It's just all core. That's all it is with yeah, dimples stamped into it. This is <laughs> solid piece. Yeah, but for a four piece premium golf ball, it doesn't hold up. No. Now, from a, does it feel better than the two piece, 30 ish dollar across the gamut of all those golf balls? I think that's its mm -hmm. market. So I like the golf ball for those types of players that are looking to get a little bit more distance, very consistent spin rates. Yeah, for the um, market that it's in. But I do feel like, cuts marketing yeah, yeah. it's they, they need to they need to church up some stuff and fix fix church a few things up some stuff church it up a little bit just get accurate that's all we ask i think that's our yeah. biggest thing is do what you say you're going to do because i think this ball, golf ball has a market they're just not mar they're not it's marketing not, it to the correct people yeah yeah it's not yeah, the demographic put to the right situation market. is off so Cut, maybe invest in a little more R&D on your uh, marketing or your, I guess, marketing analysis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spend a little more time on that bad boy. I think you could sell them. Uh, I just not in this format that you currently have. Yeah. So. That is that is our review and our opinion. Everybody is entitled to it. Just like everybody that comments. And <laughs> yeah, feel free. Aaron, use too much tape on the grip. Yeah, on too much tape on the grip. Yeah, always, always well, do that. you don't see it. it like, I, you know. like I leave grip tape all the way down to here. And Man, I thought you were down here. It was just way too much. Yeah, I put it. I just wanted to make sure I got it all the way to the end. Not a belly putter, Aaron. <laughs> anyway, uh, inside joke. We're sorry about that. Yeah, check, so out, check out TikTok. TikTok. Sixteen Eleven IGC. Yeah, if you if you see comments from Maverick Performance Golf on TikTok, I'm normally blasting Aaron just for fun of it now. <laughs> oh yeah, just join the club. Yeah, I'm the guy that likes to walk up behind the fire and just toss some gas on it yeah, and just then throw run away. Little, <laughs> throw a little bit on there. But, Perfect. Um, we well, yeah, got guys. Thank you all for checking in. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, do it all. We appreciate it. We do. See y'all. Wait, hang on. No, thanks for checking in. It's a video series, not the podcast. Thank you all for checking in. See you later. <laughs>